Hey guys, and welcome to Adam, an RPG game that is heavily inspired by the old Fallout games, uh, 1 and 2. And uh, those games are one of my favorites of all time. I think Fallout 2 would be my number one favorite game of all time. And uh, Adam is basically Fallout in Russia, without the vaults. So let's just get started. New game. I already designed the character, because for me that takes hours before I'm happy with a character. So let's just see who she is, because I played a dude uh, the last time I played an RPG. So this time we're playing a woman. And uh, let's just see if we can find her picture. Uh, yeah, let's just go with that. Sophia, I like that name, but we're gonna go with... Uh, Babe here because I like a bit of com comedic uh, relief from uh, time to time, and if the game takes itself too seriously, uh, it's just gonna be all the sweeter. <clears throat> also, we are not just some random stranger. As a cadet of a secret organization, Adam, you went through a standard training program and received an education that should technically assure your survival in the harsh outside world. Well, we don't know, but uh, I'm hoping for the same thing. So I can be a junkie doctor, uh, I'll, I want to do that, just to be more intelligent. There are many traits here, obviously this uh, uh, character design screen is uh, heavily inspired by Fallout. And we're going to be an unlucky optimist. Because I don't want to rely on luck, I want to make my own luck. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think we need that much endurance. And most of all, we want to up personality, attention, and intelligence, because these stats help a lot, at least based on the description. They help in conversation and just uh, experiencing more of the game. Of course, it can be fun just to have uh, like, a, like a dumb character or whatnot. I'm not sure how it works in this game, but in Fallout... At least you can do a dumb character and your experience was completely different. But I think it's more fun to have a, a smart character and just experience uh, as much of the game as you can. And uh, for that reason alone, uh, we're gonna pump our sp speechcraft to start out. I'm not sure what kind of uh, weapons we're gonna pick up. If this is like Fallout, and based on the stats I chose right now, I think we're just gonna go with pistols and SMG. Maybe rifles and shotguns. I don't know. We're gonna see what we find. And hopefully, till then, uh, we're just gonna be uh, capable to defend ourselves. Like, we have okay skill points. There are, there are some traits here <clears throat> that take away from skill points. I shied away from them a little bit. Also, we have, like, basically the gifted here. Just to get even more attribute points. But this, this should be an okay start. So we are not lucky. We are... Yeah, we can't... We are more likely to get addicted to stuff. But we are kind of intelligent. And uh, we should be just okay. I think 6 to 30 should be okay for this character. Just because I want a lot of intelligence. And that should be fine. So let's get started. For difficulty settings. I'm gonna go with normal here. <clears throat> because... Uh, these ones restrict your saving and I don't like that because if I want to restrict my saving I can do that anyway and let's say like yeah we have permadeath here that's great but I can already do that uh, for myself and uh, it's not so great when you're making videos like saving only outside of a battle like what if the game crashes in a in a battle like you just have to do it again for no reason. Also, what if you like like play for 20 minutes and you get into a battle and and I don't know, you do die for some reason and now you have to do the the last 20 minutes as well. So we're going to go normal. This should be fine. And we can choose our clothes. We can be a traveler, army army girl and action hero. And uh we are part of a secret organization, but I don't know. Like, obviously this is the math choice, this is the, uh, <laughs> well, we, 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 we dress for the job, but this might not be the best call here. And action here is the joke, joke. 
I want, I'm kind of tempted to go with the action hero. Should we go with that? Fuck. Okay, whatever. We're gonna dress like an action hero. I'm, I'm a little burned out of action heroes. Uh, with all these uh, action hero movies. <clears throat> but let's just do that. I'm kind of curious how it's gonna look. So, let's start. Seems like the most fun option. Atom, a branch of the Soviet army created long before the war, caused by the imperialist conquerors. Our mission does not end in gathering pre-war technology and reviving our Soviet motherland. We also strive to reach the pre-war quality of life for all. To realize those goals, we often send search expeditions into the wasteland. Not long ago, one of such expeditions, led by General Morozov, lost all contact with the base. Our human resources are limited. Therefore, the standard procedure is to send out but a few agents to investigate this problem. You are one of the chosen for this mission. General Morozov's troops had an important quest to locate, control, and study a secret bunker. Bunker 317. According to our data, it is located near the village of Otradnoya. To successfully complete your mission, we recommend you to contact our agent in the city of Krasnos Nemonye, codenamed Fidel. He's hiding in plain sight as a barkeep in the outskirts of the city. So apart from physical aid, he can offer you informational support as well. You will learn the password needed to contact our agent from the envelope. Destroy it upon reading. And remember, your mission is to gather intelligence on the disappearance of Morozov and his troops. No heroics. The wastes are a dangerous place. Good luck, cadet. And let there be Atom. Let there be Atom? Sounded like that, that guy really wanted to sound cool. Let there be Adam. You gotta find General Morozov. Oh my god, I like these clothes. This is the superhero? What a nice night we are having. So calm, nothing can go wrong. Looks like I'm up for like a... Well, I don't know, like just hiking in the woods. Oh, but I have an AK. Wait a second, what's that rustling sound? I don't think I'm gonna go with that voice in the long run. I can't do a lady voice. Uh, oh fuck. <laughs> uh, from uneven shadows that are that are dancing around your campfire emerges a well-built man in his 30s, dressed in a musty khaki uniform. Well, would you look at that. A girl all alone in, his, in this part of the wastes. Are you perchance lost? <clears throat> the man stops before you and rubs his hands. As if to warm himself, or to show you a formidable brass knuckle on his left hand. Or maybe you'll, you're like uh, the little red riding hood, delivering food to your sick grandmother in all these bags of yours. I have to say that I'm reconsidering my attire of choice, uh, because this looks pretty grim. I'm probably going to get robbed, raped, and um, probably murdered. I was thinking of another word uh, for that starts with an R, but uh, as the last one, but no, because that's kind of raise pillage. Yeah, that's how it usually goes in in uh, strategy games. But this is not a strategy game. Hey, can we trade? <laughs> He's not up for it. What is that? Oh yeah, that's the. Uh, okay, that's the log. Okay, thanks for that. Hey guys. Um, can we talk about this? That's very careless. What if some big bad wolf were to start chasing you? I mean, you wouldn't last 100 meters with such heavy luggage. The stranger's face breaks into an ominous smile. <clears throat> Me and my pals could help you carry it. Well, not for free of course, but for a very manageable price. What say you? You find and notice four human figures hidden in the dark of the night. And if you still had some doubts about what is transpiring, now it's becoming painfully clear. You're about to get robbed. But only robbed? That's not too bad. If I don't get murdered. You choose the wrong woman, mate. I was trained to deal with the hostile locals. Well, I'm kind of going to play it a bit realistically here, if I can. So I'm just one woman versus five dudes already have their weapons out. I kind of have a an AK or... Looks looks like that. 
Oh, well, on, on, well. I don't see it right now. Can I? I, 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 I do have some kind of assault rifle, I believe. Listen, I would share, but I don't have a lot myself. Only the bare minimum for survival. Be a human being, leave me alone. That's not gonna work. If they smell weakness, like, they freaking pounce. Is there, man? Maybe you missed it in the dark, but you're looking for trouble with someone who won't be stopped by that brass knuckle of yours. I don't know if that's gonna work. I think he's just gonna rough me up. What the hell? Go and rob me, you bunch of lowlifes. Uh, yeah, that's that's definitely gonna result in them robbing me at least. I just I just sweet talk them because they're robbing me for sure. But if I make myself a human, maybe they're gonna stop at that. How about that? So maybe I'm not gonna get murdered. Listen, yeah, I would like to share, but I'm a lot myself. Only the bare minimum for survival. Be a human being and leave me alone. The man smiles and winks at you. Don't worry, honey. We won't hurt you. Just <clears throat> wanted to browse through your stuff for a second. Who knows? Maybe we won't take anything. You can lie down and rest while we're at it. What do you mean? Oh, take the loot, man. We have good catch tonight. Oh, crap. I don't like the look of that. Oh, my head. Those assholes. They took everything, or maybe they left something? Have they? I like these clothes. They look fine. Uh, not exactly appropriate for post-apocalyptic... Uh, uh, anything, actually. But, but those look nice. Very casual. Okay, um... Hmm... So, where to? Uh, it seems like they just took everything, so... My hopes and dreams and are completely crushed at this point. Oh, some crates! Have they missed us? Spoon! I'll be taking that. Um, what is that? It's locked! I can't... Can I unlock it? I don't think I can. Hmm... In Fallout, there used to be a thingy here, just to open the lockpick panel. And you can try lockpicking without having lockpicks. But, uh, seems like there's not no such thing in this game. We need to get a lockpick, I, I imagine. Uh, to interact with that box. Successfully. Uh, pronouncing the name of uh, the places in this game is gonna be a bit of a nightmare. <clears throat> ah, I need to ref need a refresher in my Russian. Some kind of place that ends with a hoe, so we're going there. Oh, look at that. A nice settlement. Oh, we arrived at night. Uh, not too surprising. Wait, wasn't it? The morning before? I'm not sure. They knocked me out pretty cold. Uh, oh, there's a guy here. <clears throat> before you stands a strongly built man, aged around 30. He's wearing a military jacket and holds a large gun in his hands. On further inspection, he seems like an affable guy that would probably welcome a conversation with a random stranger. He absently chews a blade of grass, but upon seeing you, he livens, livens up. Can we partner? This doesn't matter. Let's go. Hey there, comrade. <clears throat> and hello to you too. Stay silent. Piss off, I have no time to talk. No, 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 let's just be friendly. The man coughs and spits out the blade of grass, then removes his hands from his rifle, letting it hang there by its handmade leather belt. 
Nice to meet you. My name is Yam. May I ask what brings you to our village? I'm looking for someone just passing through. I've heard about your village and felt like visiting. Let's go with that. <laughs> You're telling me our village is popular? That's good to know. How can I help you? Uh, just a couple of questions. That would be nice. Uh, was there a troop military types in your village lately? Yeah, I would want to avoid them. Funny you should ask. A squad of troops came through the village not not, not long ago. <clears throat> Can't say if they were military, though. But they had some serious uh, looking dudes. Good weapons on them. And their attitude was militant. Was pretty militant. They were even wearing uniforms of sorts. Some serious guys, I'll tell you. Real serious. They bought some water, rested for a day near the walls and moved on. I got to chatting with the youngest guy among them. He said they were on an expedition into the ruins. Probably looking for some pre-war tech, or what remains of it. God help them. They seem normal enough. Can you point me in the direction of those ruins? Are you planning to die? Previously, you had some stuff and they took everything, knocked you out and, well, I suppose we might want to know, even just to avoid them <laughs> completely, because we are definitely not ready to take them on. So where's this ruin? Jan takes your map and after looking at it for a while, draws a small black cross in one spot. After looking at the map again, he returns it to you. Here it is, not too far away. Thanks, uh, can I ask another question? Hmm. Do you have any work? Some work can always be found. For one, our tech guy disappeared somewhere. Stablov was his surname. He loves uh, a drink from time to time, sometimes even goes on a bender. But it's not like him to be gone for so long. The last time we saw him, he was pretty drunk. Bragging about becoming a millionaire real soon. And now he's just gone. Maybe he's a millionaire. Oh, maybe he earned his million and ran off? Exactly! Maybe so, but where would he get a million rubles? Something shady about this whole situation. I'm a little bit foggy on the value of rubles, especially post apocalypse. So, I don't know. Probably it's not worth that much. Probably worth nothing. We'll see. Yan shrugs his shoulders and vigilantly stares into the distance before turning back to you. One way or another, we could use a woman that's good with her hands around here. That's right. Um, well, Yan, don't even fucking think about it. I'm not giving you a hand job. What the fuck? Um, well, I better go. <laughs> Um, maybe you could point me to some other jobs? You could ask around in the tavern. It belongs to a brother and a sister, Vasya and Katya Rachenko. Maybe someone from the village is looking for help. I don't know. Hmm, I see another question? Uh, tell me about your village. What do you want to know? How's life? Where can I buy some drugs? You should uh, pay Konstantin Albertovich uh, Mikoyan a visit. He's our doctor. You can simply call him Konstantin or Mikoyan, whatever suits your fancy. He's an educated person, respected by all the people. He's been practicing medicine since before the war, so he can patch you up if needs be. <clears throat> nice to know. Can I ask about anything else? How's life? Our village is great. It was founded right after the war. Comrade Kovalev, our head, built it around an old oak tree with the first settlers. Now that oak stands in the middle of the settlement. It's our main attraction, somewhat, or should I say, a mascot. He built the settlement around the tree by himself. I think you're giving him too much credit. You would not believe me, but I was told that people ran all around the waste after the bombs fell. They were looking for food and water, but everything around was simply dust and burnt earth. But here, they saw this oak, and uh, the water running nearby was clear. That's pretty strange, if you ask me. I would be more interested in the 
clean water than some tree that's not totally dead. <clears throat> and smiles, but suddenly his smile disappears, turning into a pout. This man looks like he just ate a whole lemon. What's wrong, Yan? Life's tough. Sucks, I'll be honest with you. It sucks! There's drought, and I don't know if you heard, but we being terrorized by bandits. No way, tell me more. The bandits come each month demanding money. We tried fighting them, we tried making peace with them. Nothing works. They're stronger than we are. Nobody can help you? We sent a man once in to the big city. What the hell? Krasno Menyi. That's, that's, that's how it's called, okay? <clears throat> so that he could hire us a few mercenaries. With all the money we had, he could only get seven men. They soon arrived, looking serious and tough with their fancy guns, proud of themselves. I wish I could tell you that they fought the bandits and they stopped harassing us. I wish I could tell you that, but the wasteland is no fairy tale world. The bandits killed all all seven of our men then demanded we pay them even more the following month. They said we need to pay more because we obviously had the money for mercenaries. Yeah, I guess. I'm actually quite surprised that the mercenaries just fought the bandits. If I saw that it was a losing fight, like if it, if it really came down to it, I'm like I would not fight. Come on, man. We just have to. We just have to go. It sucks, but there's just no point to it. Well, uh, it sucks. Uh, can I ask uh, more questions? Where can I buy some guns? Uh, just the village gun dealer, the trader Yashin. If you wanna know my opinion, he's a nice guy, but he asks a lot for his wares. A real goddamn capitalist. On the other hand, he pays some hefty taxes and helps the guards around town with their weapons. You should visit him even if you don't need a gun. He only moved here recently. Being a city person, he would love to chat with a traveler such as yourself. His shop is just outside the gates to the left. How do you know? Okay, I see. Well, uh, how, how does he know that he wants to chat with me? Well, I'll be on my way. Wait, <clears throat> feel free to come back here whenever. It can get pretty boring just standing here. Yeah, and it's not happening, okay? So let's see what we got here. It would be nice to just look around here. Uh, wait, what the hell is that? You take brick. Sure. It's, it's kind of hard to spot these without highlighting them it's locked you take a log okay can we go inside oh I didn't see that door I probably I shouldn't start looting stuff he might just take offense to that would you take offense if someone just entered your house and just started picking up stuff but seems like there is no indication of what he's stealing. So if I try to take his pen. Oh. Severely beaten? Um <laughs> Okay. I'm I'm not trying to steal anything. Hey there, ma'am. <laughs> what? That that face or that that, that posture kind of reminds me of something. Oh, I think that. Reminds me of the jealous girlfriend meme. Kinda looks like that. Doesn't it? Oh, I don't know. But it, it, it does 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 remind me of it. <clears throat> like the guy is walking and looks back. Whatever. Screw memes, right? Before you stands an old man in an old veteran but clean jacket. He looks around 60, but very well presented for someone who lives in Waste. It seems possible that his real age is closer to 70. His strict face is adorned with a short mustache. What do you want, me lady? Young lady. Can I ask some questions? I'm very busy. 
Please, speak with someone in the village. He throws away from you, letting you know the conversation is over. What a bastard! I was I was going for a, a nice chat. Okay. What about you? So we don't know their names before talking to them. You just gotta remember. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh man. Can I watch the TV? Before you stands an aging man with an old rifle in his uh, wrinkled hands. He looks at you with mostly concealed interest. Is there a way to know their name? Good day, may I ask uh, you a couple of questions? Hey there, ask away, and I'll try to get you some answers. Uh, as much as I like the opportunity to voice act all of them, maybe, maybe I should give them different voices, but... <clears throat> Damn. I wouldn't mind if at least some of them had voices. What are you guarding? Is he guarding something? Is he guarding the TV? Fucking let me watch the TV. What are you guarding? <laughs> it's the village. Okay, he's not saying that laughing. It's the village treasury. We keep the taxes, we gather here and use them for the common good. If you got any funny ideas, my friend, I don't recommend trying them out. I may be old, but I'm a great shot. I mean, no, you no harm. Can I ask something else? Like what? How about yourself? What's to tell? I'm a simple man. The one thing that makes me special is my aim. I can hit a radioactive spider in the eye socket from 200 paces. That's right. I don't know. I don't like to brag, you know, but for many years now, I've won the local top marksman contest. <laughs> like in the village? Good for you, man. Can we? Can you spare some more time? Like what? What's new around the village? Heard any rumors? They say plenty of monsters are seen in the south and the north. Giant spiders, wasps, even more dangerous things. Some even settled near the village. I don't know where they can breed. If they can, we're in trouble. Dangerous situation. Can I ask something else? Why, why can I offer to take care of it? Even though I'm, I'm basically just uh, a woman in my pajamas with nothing. I do have a fork, I believe. Or a spoon. It does matter, because maybe it's pointy. Uh, what's you around the village? Nah, all's well. With our head, there is no time to be lazy or sad. He's a great man, I believe in him. Our whole village believes in him. And this faith is what keeps us all together. Everything is fine. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know, man. You say fine so many times that I just really started to doubt it a, a tiny bit. You have an interesting way of talking, my friend. Oh, well, I gotta go. Good luck! Uh, sure! So... Yeah, no looting here. What else we have here? So this must be the bar. I'm not sure if that's a word for the bar, or just the name of the bar, but this seems like a bar. Oh my god, this is very bad. What do you have there? Some cabbages? Potatoes? What's up? You doing uh, your homework or crossword puzzle? What the hell? Oh my god. What the hell is, it, is she doing? Wait, what? <laughs> just just, uh, just a picture. Uh, before you sits a young woman. She's concentrating on writing something down in a yellow notebook which has a word accounting on the cover. She's completely immersed in this activity and does not notice you. Fucking lies. No one is completely immersed in accounting. What the hell? My immersion is broken. Hello, can I ask you some questions? Oh, personality. The girl stops writing in the book and lifts her head. She looks at you for a moment before cheating uh, the pencil stub behind her ear. Oh, hey, hey there. Um, what? Uh, sorry, I'm a little busy right now. You wanna ask something? Yeah, I wanna. <clears throat> Damn. Uh, yeah, I wanna ask a uh, couple of questions. It's a bit, bit of a, an awkward situation because both of them are women, and I'm, I'm, I can't voice act any of them properly. 
This, this would be... I don't know. I do see uh, some uh, some Let's Players. I just do do it in a duo with a well, a man and a woman, like usually girlfriend and boyfriend. Uh, that that's kind of cool. So I just yeah, just just want to ask a couple of questions. Sure, go on. It's good to have a distraction from work from time to time, if only to keep my sanity after all these calculations. Yeah, I'm looking for a job. Do you have any tips? Oh, why are your questions so generic? What are you doing? The girl gives her notebook a tired look. It's an old notebook, stained by grease, torn at the sides, covered with dirty fingertips, like most things after the war. It's been through a lot. Well, trying to make the ends meet uh, the means, you know. My brother Vasilya and I own... We own this tavern. He tends to the bar, I do all the math, and pay the taxes to the village head. Business is not great though. Also, sometimes I develop new types of beverages for our customers. Some I make using old recipes, some I create myself. We distill it and sell it right here. I love that particular job, but I can't be a brewer without doing the accounting and the taxes, so here am I. And your just brother just stands at the bar and, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe what you're doing is at least more challenging, so. Yeah, no getting around that stuff. Can I ask you some more questions? <clears throat> I'm listening. Uh, I'm looking for a job. Do you have any tips? Yeah, this is a bar. Can I be a bartender? Everyone's looking for a work around here. I I'm afraid I can't help you personally. What I can do is recommend you to Comrade Kovalev, our village head. He, he always has some work to be done, but he's a respected man around here. Why is it the butt? Hmm. That's a bit odd. You got some stuff? Oh my god, she does have some stuff. Do you want to buy my brick and log? And spoon. Okay, we have a spoon. That's not, not like a fork or a knife. I think that's the worst of the three options. We might need to buy a knife. He won't do business with someone he never seen before. Recommending a stranger to him is sort of unprofessional. Maybe if you help me with some chores first. I know I can trust you. Like what? Well, I'm ashamed to ask, but I need some toadstools. Don't have enough free time to do it on my own. Maybe you could help me out. Picking just five toadstools would do. They grow on the other side of the fence. Not far from here. Are you up to it? You kidding me? I guess I have to do it. I'm doing it. Speechcraft. Listen, maybe we'll skip the mushroom part. Because I'm a serious woman. I'm very busy. That just seems like a jerky thing to say. I don't like it. But I guess we're gonna do it. Oh my god, it didn't work. You know, my family is quite respected in these parts, and I won't gamble on our reputation on someone I don't really know. If you change your mind about the mushrooms, come find me later. But without proving yourself, I can't give you any uh, recommendation. I I'll get the mushrooms. I just... Sorry, sorry about that, uh, what I said. <laughs> Thanks, I'll be wa waiting. So I guess I gotta pick up some mushrooms. What about you, mister? Before you stands a plump, red-faced man, aged around 25. He's wearing a white shirt and some rather short shorts. He has a velka beard. In his hands there is a clean towel he uses uh, to swat annoying flies. Upon seeing you, the man gives you a wide smile. Oh, a visitor! Welcome to the tavern! Lots of travels here these days. Well, you're here now. And not long ago, a band of armed people came through the village. People with guns usually means trouble around these parts, but they were pretty civil. Just like real army men. Uh, can you tell me more? Not much more to tell. They weren't chatty. Our village head wanted to speak to them about some issue, but they just left. I don't think he stuck any, uh, he struck any deal with them. They talked to our gate guard more than to anyone else. His name is Jan. If you're interested in knowing about those guys, I suggest you speak to him. Yeah, anyway, maybe you need a drink of some food? Nah, I better go. I wanna ask some questions? 
They had any good gossip? People say that before the war, there were no mushrooms around these parts. They say the climate was too dry for that, but after the war, the climate seems to be the same, but the mushrooms are growing everywhere. Maybe they lie about it not always being like that, but just maybe it's old lady radiation playing her weird tricks on us all? God only knows, friend. God only knows. That's very interesting. I have to go. Wait a second. Would you like to hear our unusual business proposal? Oh yeah. Damn right. This seems like a dude with a fake beard. Just, just a picture of a dude with a fake beard. Is it real? I think it might... It could be real, but it looks a little bit fake. Well, let's hear it. <clears throat> the matter is pretty simple. Small job, really. What I need is for you to bring me this book I ordered. It's all the way in uh, Krasnomeni. Abraham, the local bookseller, has it at his store. I can't get to it myself because of all the work around the bar. Why are you giving me this kind of mission? Okay, so when I'm there, at any time, I might just pick up your book. I can tell you, I can tell you that you're quite the traveler. Maybe you could bring it for me from the city. It's already been paid for and I will pay for you, pay you for your troubles. What do you say? I don't know, I guess it's a deal. It's a deal if I ever go to Krasnumeni, I'll visit uh, this Abraham character. Sounds good to me. The man takes your map and marks the city with a cross. Wow, thank you so much. Here's the receipt for the book. Just show it to Abraham and he'll give it to you. The bartender hands you a small square of thick paper. On it, written in a formidable cursive, are the words, the owner of this document, Rachenko VA, or his legal proxy, may obtain a copy of The Lord of the Rings after handing over this receipt, signed by Mirkin. Thanks. Uh, he likes a good book. So let's see what we have here. So we checked out two houses so far. What's over here? Ooh. Do we want to check out their trash? Maybe they have some dead dudes in there. They got an alarm clock, a cord, and an empty tin. We're taking it all. What is that? This would be impossible to spot. I'm not even sure that it's... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's, it's just completely worthless. I can take some corn. Maybe we can eat that. A shovel. Shovel is usually important in games. Not in all games, but uh, sometimes you can use it as a weapon, or you can use it to actually dig stuff up. Can I just kill someone in this town and take over the house? Uh, that would be the Morovin style of uh, looking for a home. Oh, there's some someone uh, sleeping here. Waste paper, herbal mix, babushka scarf. I'll take this, you know, I'm just gonna check if it's radiated or something like that. It didn't work? Compact cassette. So I can wake her up. Well, it looks like a woman. Hey woman, do you have more stuff? Oh, it's not a woman. Can you come closer to the light? Um, before you stands an old woman leaning on a cane. She's wearing a black dress and a black headscarf. Under her black eyebrows hide her black eyes, still sharp and revealing the glimmer of youth. Hello, can I ask you some questions? How's life here? Ma <clears throat> but we aren't complaining, young lady. This village has been through a lot. It might seem that the villagers are all out of willpower by now, but I strongly believe that the people of this village are yet to rise. Thanks. 
Better than rumors? Gossip? I prefer not to know. Because in the old, good old days, it wasn't the same at all. My late husband that I received incredibly beautiful china and silverware as our wedding gift, young lady, it was astonishing. Luxurious. But now you see, beautiful things have no value. I've heard that a man in a village close to ours has turned a whole bar of tellurium into nails. Nails, can you imagine? Oh, what times we live in. Well, I gotta go! Damn. No wonder Yan won uh, mistaken me for a sleuth. I need to get some new clothes. This is not appropriate attire for the apocalypse. Sure, take it. We, we have nothing, so we may as well take it. Yeah, I'm just taking people's trash. Hey, how, how do you feel about me stealing your stuff? You don't mind? Okay, I'm, I mean, I didn't take it. An old man in a skullcap does what he always does. He opens and closes his toothless mouth. Whistling some forgotten melody upon seeing you, he squints his eyes at you. Hello there, Shunny. You want to speak about something? Just getting to know the locals. <laughs> oh, the locals. Well, here I am. Local through and through. <laughs> Didn't they... send you... To help me out, Shoni. Not really. What do you what do you want? Ah, shame to ask, little lady. I have this little corn patch at the back of my house. I pick the corn myself, but I'm just too old now. My back is killing me. What harvest could I pick like that? The old man gives out the sad sigh. It must be very hard for him to ask someone for help. You're not gonna believe it, old man, but I already picked that crap, <laughs> that corn. <laughs> I just say that, that's too funny. Oh, real worker you are! You really help out an old man! Yeah, I know! I'm just, you know, that, that's what's called proactive, you know? We helped him out even before he asked us to. Oh, what about my reward? The old guy... F Fills his pockets, looks his house over, and finally turns to you without despair in his eyes. You bastard, you just stole my cord. It's just what I don't have any money to pay you. What a shame. I was a hunter back before, you know, and always had the money. Sh but now, what a shame. Shame on you, old man. Acted like a true exploiter. It's okay, no harm done. Happy to help. Maybe you could look around for some more old man every little bit helps it's okay no harm done happy to help ah, I don't know he stole my corn but a bastard I don't know what to do yeah I think I'm just wasting my time he has nothing okay I'm happy to help the old man does not listen to you finally a smile comes to his face and he slaps his forehead. What an old fool I am. I wash a hunter. Wash an eye. Shed it myself. Didn't get it. Wait here, little lady. The old man gets on his knees and starts searching under his rickety bed. Finally, he pulled out his old shotgun. With a smile, he hands it to you. Old man, this is awesome. I had nothing. Do you have some bullets too? Here, I don't really need no more, just to scare and away the crowds, I suppose, but you might find it useful. So here you go. Wow, thanks a lot, old man, just what I needed. I'm not gonna tell him to keep it, what the hell. That would be just rude. You take the gun out of the old man's hands and look it over with interest. It's an old hunting carbine, carbine on its wooden stock is an engraving, a heart, pierced by an arrow. Do you have... Well, we definitely don't have bullets for that. Did he give us bullets? No, he, he gave us no bullets. Can we use this as a weapon? Okay, we can use the shovel as a weapon. 
But not the spoon. <laughs> okay, we can't use the brick as a weapon either. Unfortunately... Whoa, whoa, whoa. It needs 5 strength and 35 in rifles and shotguns. We don't have the second very uh, requirement. Jamming chance. Okay. Uh, not the best. Oh, this is the... Some other guy. I don't know what's written there. So, we basically... Uh, this is like the half of the settlement? We don't know. We don't know how big is this, but I can't go that way. So, this is kind of like the half of the settlement, I think. Anyway. We might need to pick up some clothes. Oh, can I put that on? That looks dumb. Well, that just looks terrible. I'm not gonna use that. Are there any other clothes? I no, no, there's nothing. There's nothing I can use. Yeah, there's nothing. Anyway, <clears throat> I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.